Hello my dear family members I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Delta S exam as all of you know guys in this exam you will be having total 50 MCQ questions which will be from all computer fundamentals and from computer fundamentals you will be having those questions from operating systems OOPS concept then you will be having questions from networking cloud and basics java or basics uh, c++ questions mcq okay and after that you'll be having total three coding questions one will be from easy second one medium and third one will be a uh, hard one okay so what will be the top five coding questions that's what i'm going to discuss in this video so if you are preparing for delta x on campus or off campus then this video is going to be helpful for you only okay so guys let me show you that uh, all questions but before that if you have not subscribed this channel then please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please make sure that if you are liking these videos and sharing this content with your friend okay so now let me share the question so the first question is this check equal arrays so the problem statement is given two arrays check if they contain the same elements with the same frequency regardless of order or not okay so basically the sample input will be given like this array one is this one two three two and array two will be provided this way two three one two and your output should be true or false based on the given uh, conditions based on the given inputs okay that means uh, why it is true because uh, one two three two okay so we can arrange this one two three two in this format as well like two three one two is present so we can write these uh, in this way okay one two three two because their frequency like for one it is only one present number of twos that is one number of threes one number of twos sorry number of twos is two here also number of twos is two number of three is one number of one is one so that's why the frequency is same as they have mentioned regardless of the order you have to check if this can be equal or not okay so i hope you understood let's say let let's let, let say uh three four two and six okay so this is the sample input one okay i um, mean two then let's say three two five one so if this is the sample input then it is false okay i mean the output is false why because the frequency is not same if the frequency is not same that means this is a false uh, i mean output okay i hope you understood so let me go to the next question so the next question will be just for the answer just wait a few minutes i'm going to tell you how to get all the answers so uh, march to sorted arrays so merge two sorted arrays into a single sorted array you have to do that so array one will be provided like this one three five then array two is two four six and you have to merge the sorted arrays okay so how to do that i hope you know so one two three four five six is the basically whole sorted arrays so if you just add those array like one three five then two four six and then if you just sort this then it can be like this okay one two three four five six but one thing very important you cannot use the built-in function you cannot use the built-in functions because they strictly forbid not to use the built-in functions okay so try to implement the algorithms try to implement the logic as much as you can okay I hope you understood so let me go to the next question but before that guys if you want all the top 10 coding questions with answers all the technical questions all the interview preparation materials and mock test everything if you need then please visit topmint.io slash techno on the web there we are giving all the things you need to prepare okay i have seen many youtubers are giving materials only for interviews and they are like taking from students 75 80 89 rupees but we are giving all the things like from aptitude technical coding mock test interview person everything we are assisting as well so if you are just paying 79 rupees you are getting everything you need okay i hope you will consider it and it is nothing for you i think okay still if you have any problem then let me know in the inbox in instagram okay so the third problem is triangle path sum that is given a triangle array find the minimum path sum from top to bottom so sample input is this triangle is equal to two three four six seven five six five seven and four one eight three 
why the output is 11 let me just tell you okay so here um, 2 3 6 4 if I just add this then it becomes 5 6 11 plus 4 that is 15 and if we if I calculate this way 2 3 6 1 so it becomes uh, 9 to uh, 12 so it becomes 12 but if I calculate this way 2 3 5 1 2 3 that is 5 5 5 10 and 1 11 so this is 11 if I calculate this way 2 4 5 1 2 4 5 1 this, this becomes more than 11 okay so basically the minimum sum possible is 11 so that's why output is 11 and the path is 2 3 5 1 I hope you want to write so guys uh, if you want answers then please watch till the end and watch the playlist of delta x because we are going to upload all the answers one by one and if you want all the answers within very few minutes then please visit topmate.io slash technology wave and uh, just grab the opportunity to have all the answers okay then binary search okay given a sorted array and a target value return the index if the target is found if not found then return minus one okay so what's the sample input that is uh, array is equal to one three five seven nine eleven and target is seven so if this is found then okay but if it's not found then you have to return minus one okay as seven is present here at third index so we have to return the index okay i hope you understood let's say if you are getting if you are searching for some values which is not present then its output should be minus one i hope you know the algorithm or the syntax and the logic how to solve this so please try to solve the problem if not possible then also comment down please give answers in the next video so i'll upload those okay if i see more comments then i'll upload this content only okay otherwise i'll move to another company's material or on another company's uh, content okay so smallest sub array with some greater than x so this is the problem find the length of the smallest sub array with some greater with some greater than a given value x so um, sample input is 1445619 and the target value is 51 so what is the output that is 3 why because let me just share that you have to find the length of the smallest sub array okay so here if we just found find one uh so we have to find one array let's say 51 right we have to find one array sub array inside this which will be equal to so this is one value this is one value this is one value so if this is equal to 52 okay and if I found another sub array which is equal to which is equal to 53 okay so we have to take the smallest one we have to take the smallest one this one 52 one okay I hope you understood so this is the smallest one right? so that's why we have to take the smallest one which is greater than the uh, yeah, this target value okay so here if we found find that one four 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 five so it becomes uh, 50 and then 6 56 so from here to here it is 56 it is greater than 51 but but 4 4 5 and 6 it becomes uh, 55 okay so that's why 55 is the smallest uh, value which is greater than 51 okay so the smallest sub array is 4 4 5 6 so that's why the length of the sub array is 3 and that's why the answer is 3 i hope you understood so guys if you understood then please give the answer in the comment section and if you can't then please let me know in the comment section as well and guys if you want to discuss more about delta x Vartusha, and as you know guys all the companies are st like started hiring for on campus for off campus like cognizant capgemini deloitte pwc infosys as well and zoho then uh, mind rise Vartusha, then hexaware goldman sachs tcs every companies are hiring so if you are preparing for these then please go through the materials previous year questions mock test technical uh, interviews questions technical questions mcqs everything right so you have to prepare for those so please visit topmate.io slash technology web the link will be given in the description box please visit that and go through all the previous year questions and i am assuring you all the questions like most of the questions will be common or similar pattern okay i hope you will do so so thank you for today's session